Hey everybody, welcome back to the Beamer Barn. My name is Chris, if you're new here and you're not familiar with the channel, and I'm usually working on BMWs in the garage and making DIY videos, but today I figured I'd take you for a day in the life of what a YouTube mechanic does, show you guys some of the behind the scenes, what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm not filming. So the first thing that we're gonna do is something I've been putting off because we just finished a video on the X5, and that is clean up the garage because I still left all the parts scattered. I went straight and made a video for you guys on the DIY. MTL system and now it's time to clean up the garage so we're gonna go ahead and do that really quickly and then a little bit more service on the x5 before we take care of some chores Now, I like to use an air conditioning system in my garage when I'm working. I hope you guys don't have to hear it humming in the backgrounds, but lately I've been doing videos without music, so let me know if you guys enjoy that sort of style and the more raw sounds of the garage. Uh, now that we've got the wheels back on my X5, we're gonna go ahead and do a brake flush because unfortunately the DSC has like a few uh, pump faults and I think it might have something to do with the car not having had a brake flush in a while. So we're gonna do a brake flush and get some fresh fluid in the veins of the system and then we're gonna maybe see if we can clear the faults out and if they come back or not. And I'm also now finding out that this cabin filter might as well not be in here. Oh, this is gross. That is gross. So this has not been replaced in a while. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove it for now and order one, add that to the list of things that we need to order later. All right, so now we finished the brake flush and I'm already hungry, so it's time to let the dogs out for lunch and warm up some food. Now, most of you have already met Goose. He's my about three year old German Shepherd and he's been the star of the YouTube channel for a while now. He's such a good boy. Some of you may not know, this is Coda, my girlfriend's dog. He's a cattle dog. I think they're called like a Texas healer or a blue healer. And the newest addition to the family, this is Charlie. She's a six month old German Shepherd, Dutch Shepherd mixed puppy and she is so cute. You see, she's got these beautiful paws and she's just been such a great addition addition to the family. So we have a total of three dogs between Paige and I, and it's definitely been like having our own family, our own kids. You know, each of them is so unique and so fun. And Charlie has been just the little baby puppy around the house, so it's nice to have her. Charlie, come here. I ate some food, and now we can go ahead and take the X5 off of the lift here. Go ahead and I think we can move it out of the garage here. Maybe stack the 535XI in here so that we can work on that thing next and continue to use the X5 as a daily driver. It's been really nice to drive so far. I've enjoyed it.
Something else they don't teach you about automotive YouTube is how often you're gonna have to jump start your cars. This one's got a dead battery. I think it might be a bad battery altogether. We probably need to replace it soon so we keep, don't have to keep having this problem of jump starting it every time. Moments later. All right, I didn't want to do this in the blaring sun today, but I, I don't think this thing's gonna start with a jump start like this. So we're gonna go ahead and replace the battery back here with one that I've been charging. So at least it's charged. I think it's probably in better condition than this thing. And we're gonna do it in this scorching Florida sun, but at least that'll get this car in the garage and then we can finally get onto some of the easier parts of today. Now, even though this one is stamped, what, 820? It's clearly, I think, failed, only two years old and it's already bad. This one is stamped 1120, so I think it's just a few months newer, but I've been maintaining this battery. I don't remember which car it came out of, and now we're gonna go ahead and install it in the car and hopefully get this wagon in the garage before it starts raining, because I hear some thunder. Much better. Choo choo! I have got the fan running, but this thing still smokes out the garage from those bad turbo seals. It is just, man. It smells in here. We definitely want to do those turbos soon, but the problem is that if I'm going to be doing the turbos and I have to remove the front subframe, might as well replace everything from axle seals, differential seals, oil pan gasket, maybe even replace the axles themselves because I'm going to plan on putting a lot of miles on this chassis here. But I want to hear what you guys have to say about this car. Let me know if you're excited for this build and definitely I'll get some parts on the way for this thing. But what I just finished getting some parts for right here is my poor baby. This is my M5 wagon. If you're new to the channel, I did do a full S62 M5 drivetrain swap inside of this car, upgraded clutch, I did engine work, new piston rings, a little bit of cylinder honing, everything I've touched on this car with air suspension, M5 interior swap, and where is it sitting now? Well, now it's just collecting dust right here. But for a good reason, you guys probably saw the video where I did an inspection of the valve seals and I, you know, disassembled the intake plenum and we found that one of the intake valve seals has appeared to fail completely and it's burning oil out of the exhaust. So I ordered a couple things off of Amazon. You guys know I love to shop there. One of these is gonna be a valve seal installing tool, and the other one I think is uh, another related tool for doing this job while the cylinder head is still inside of the car. The only thing that I'm waiting for at this point is to get the valve seals themselves, but that means we're gonna have to disassemble the top end here and put the engine into top dead center timing because we have to remove the camshafts to get to those valve seals. And I'm hoping that it's just one that we have to replace and not all of them. And now that all the cars are rearranged and our work surface is clean, something you guys really don't see behind the scenes is I just spend so much time cleaning. We're gonna finally go inside and spend some time in the air conditioning and do some business work. So here is my office workspace, and this is where I spend a lot of time between editing videos and finding deals on cars that we're gonna be adding to the channel or trying to sell cars. And honestly, I'd say that's a lot of what you don't see is working at the computer, and sometimes I'm spending a full day just editing a single video. I know it doesn't sound like much, but a 12 minute video can usually be two to three hours worth of footage, and condensing that down to something that you guys enjoy watching is 
pretty hard when you think about it. So yeah, I'm currently looking for a good deal on a five speed manual project, something to add to the channel. And I'm hoping it's going to take us maybe in a new direction. Uh, but I'm not going to tell you guys what it is yet. Definitely stay posted or join the Patreon if you want to see any updates before I actually release it on YouTube. And yeah, it might be pretty interesting to see what's coming to the channel soon. I hope that you guys enjoy it. So that's all the content that I had planned for today and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. This is just kind of like a behind the scenes look at what a YouTube mechanic like me might be doing on a day to day basis. And it's a lot of random stuff I know but I hope that you guys enjoyed getting a little more personal with me and if you do want to get to know me a little bit better I do have a live Q&A that I was thinking about doing so submit some comments with some questions down below I'd love to hear them and then we'll go live one day and just answer all the questions maybe some live questions too and help you guys out with your car builds but if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new and you haven't yet as always I hope everyone has an amazing day and we will see you next time